The next control group is high slide mode, and it contains only a single setting, but it's one of the most important settings in the entire gallery because it defines the overall behavior for your slideshows. So the default selection is slideshow mode. And what that allows you to do is click on a thumbnail image to enlarge it. It dims the background and then gives you slideshow controls by which you may advance the slideshow forward or backward or play the slideshow in an automatic fashion. Clicking the image will close the slideshow down. The other important option is proofing mode. In proofing mode, we're able to enlarge multiple images for side-by-side -side comparison. And you can grab those and move them around the screen. You can bring up as many images as you like, and then clicking a, uh, an image in the background will bring it to the front, where you can click it again to close it. What's really nice about this is that the active image can be scrolled using the or advanced using the arrow keys on your keyboard. So you might say, well, this is my pick so far, but let's see what else the gallery has to offer. And then you can use the arrow keys to advance the slideshow while keeping the select on screen. To close these down, again, just bring them to the front and then click them to make them go back into the grid. The third and final option for high slide mode is to simply disable the gallery entirely, making our thumbnail images disappear. Why would you want to do that? Well, say for one reason or another, you want to produce a page that has only the gallery description. It's an option.